Hi everybody, this is Alex. Today I'm talking about why Tesla is totally undervalued and what I believe everybody is missing right now. So you all have heard about the earnings call, you know the results, you've seen these nice graphs, the pictures, you listened to the earnings call with Elon and the management team and you're all impressed. So that's awesome. But why is it important to add a little bit to all the videos that are out there already about what has been shown and why this is unique. So this is Alex. If you like my channel, subscribe, become a patron. You find all details in the description. Let's get started. So numbers are fantastic. Um, I'm not going to repeat what you've heard already a thousand times now, probably that um, you know everybody was surprised in terms of uh, the huge demand Tesla has all of a sudden which is quite impressive um, twice about twice as much order intake as deliveries of new vehicles in January is a blow to all skeptics so this is a clear statement Tesla has absolutely no demand issue and if you look back to my videos you find already information why I never believed there's going to be a demand issue with Tesla. However, numbers are great, demand is strong, margins are fantastic, industry leading, uh, the company is doing very well, cash flow is strong, outlook is fantastic in terms of you know how fast and where they want to grow to in terms of product line, so all this is nice. So why the heck is Alex now recording this video? I'm recording this video because if you look a little bit ahead into the future, we understand that there are two other areas nobody is really talking a lot about. Number one is Tesla Energy, you name it. So Tesla Energy is impressive because um, megapacks and stationary batteries have been growing 152% in Q4, which is a ton. And you know, the, the business looks like they are going to be able to create margins around 40 to, Elon said, even 65%, which is even more impressive. And they talked in the earnings call about that as well. So in other words, Tesla Energy, in particular this Megapack business, is growing faster with 152% than the auto business, which is given its size, still impressive uh, how fast it's growing. So um, Elon and the management made the statement back in 2020 that they are going to grow 50% and since 2020 they've been sticking to this rule and they've been managing that 50%. So if anybody talks about, well, they've been just growing 37% or less, this is because they compare the growth rate of the auto business with the last year and they assume Tesla meant that you know they grow 50% compared to last year, which is absolutely not the case. I mean, think about it. Let's assume Tesla would one day have, say, 5 million vehicles delivered in, in a certain year. So 50% growth would mean they deliver the next year 2.5 million vehicles on top on the 5 million, so 7.5 million vehicles, which is ridiculous. I mean, nobody will expect that, therefore that what the Wall Street is doing right now and analysts are doing right now in terms of projection is totally wrong and never has never been what Tesla was looking after. Just think about it. One day Tesla will deliver 10 million vehicles, so God will, and if that happens, do you really expect the next year will be 15 million? And once they've achieved 20 million, they just stop all of a sudden? This is now not how the business works. And by the way, um, important point here is what Sachs said and Elon said in terms of growth rate and, and um, you know, and, and, and Drew, they are looking more on the numbers like 95% of the entire auto market is still not captured simply because there are still 95% ICE sales or a little bit less this year. However, um, there's a huge, huge market out there that they are trying to address, so therefore the sky is the limit, so there's a lot to grow into. So let's go back to Tesla Energy. Higher growth rate, higher margins than the auto business means over time, it's just a question when Tesla will you know, create as much revenue 
um, then they are creating with the auto business because if that growth rate continues and it really looks like that if you look into the projections internationally how strong the utility market is looking for stationary batteries to cope with all the renewable energy that's coming in from wind and solar if you look at that it's just only a question of time and i believe Tesla is perfectly positioned with their Gigafactories, with their 4680 cells. That's probably LFP, so uh, chemistry that allows for stationary batteries to have a better, you know, um, performance cost relationship. So, and they are scaling this up big time now in Lathrop, but also at other locations. So therefore, I see Tesla is going to be perfectly positioned for growing the Tesla energy business faster than they are growing the auto business. In other words, it's just a question of time until that business unit will, will, will achieve the revenue um, that we see at that point in time from the auto business. And at that point in time, the margin will be bigger, the profit will be bigger coming out of that. Nobody is modeling that. At least I don't see any analyst out there being excited about that. They look at it and they say, well, the last years have been disappointed. And even in Q4, yes, 152%, but it's low level. You know, this is very short-sighted thinking. They really should have learned from the past that if you discuss Tesla, you should look a little bit more into the future in order to understand what you have here in front of you. And considering that, that there is a business that's going to be bigger, more profitable in terms of earnings per share anyway than the auto business, it's ridiculous how Tesla is valued right now. So that's one thing. But there's another thing I'd like to address in this video, which is AI. So every party is talking about artificial intelligence nowadays, uh, which has to do with, you know, um, there are huge revelations in terms of chat GTP coming out there and what this system can do. So everybody is starting to wake up here, but they're also starting to wake up in terms of full self-driving better, in terms of what kind of performance that system is bringing to Tesla in the US. And we all know, and that has been confirmed several times, that every incremental sale for Tesla for full self-driving will result in 100% margin and 100% profit, which will give a huge boost uh, to the bottom line in terms of profit from Tesla. So this is amazing. But, you know, full self-driving is just a portion of the game. Um, in the earnings call, they talk quite a lot about Dojo, which is a training computer. And this system can be used, and Elon talked about that, from other companies, and he confirmed that by, uh, by tweets many months ago. It can be used from other companies too, in order to you know improve their AI system. That will lead to a huge business-to-business -business opportunity Nobody talks about and has on, you know, in this calculation at all. Everybody's saying, well, this is the future, this won't happen. The fact is that Tesla already has the biggest computer in place globally with their own dedicated from Tesla designed computer chip and, you know, a design of the computer that is pretty uniquely just focused on that area. So performance and cost gonna beat everybody here. And you know, there's a huge market out there that, that will be interested in this training ability from Dojo. And this is gonna be ready probably end of this year, maybe next year, we will see. But the system is there. This is not kind of, you know, bullish, you know, fanboy talk. This is real, this is existing. And the other thing that is real and existing is full self-driving. And if we talk now, I'm talking now about the third part of the AI business from Tesla in the future, which is Optimus, which is a robot. So everybody is saying, well, this is just happening in a few years from now, maybe in 10 years or even later. People who are saying that totally, you know, miss that Optimus believes it is a car on two legs. This is the same software Tesla is using now already every day within 400,000 users or cars in the US, in North America already. So they just adapt that solution to the robot. And we've seen from latest videos from Tesla that Optimus is, you know, doing his job just fine in terms of hardware. 
yes, there will be training needed and there are some specifications that are needed to make a robot really work. But what I'm trying to say here is this is not some cloud in the sky where nobody knows when this is going to be a reality. This is mainly software, full self-driving in the Optimus robot and therefore it's not a big step from full self-driving will work in vehicles to full self-driving will work in Optimus. So the leverage is extreme and that's another thing they talked yesterday about which is we probably see the biggest asset reallocation once full self-driving works that the world has ever seen simply because Tesla can switch on robot taxis more or less from one day to the other probably all over the US as a first step. We will see and yes there's been a tons of delays no question about that I'm fully aware about it but nevertheless if you make a clear calculation you need, you must to put this into the calculation in order no, not to fool yourself. And if you look to other analysts, you know, companies who are specialized in that like ARK Invest, you see that they have a price target in 2026 of, you know, 1,500 US dollars for the Tesla stock, which is 10 times from the level we are today. So this is pretty impressive. And they say, if full self-driving one day never happens, they still have a price target of 500 US dollars, which is, you know, we are at 150, make the math, a few times from today. But once, you know, Optimus happens or Dojo happens, I see, you know, multiples that are beyond that level. And by the way, Ark Invest didn't even model or calculate for Tesla Energy and Megapacks in their price target of 1,500. So I don't want to be an Uber bull, but I would like to address that in, in my belief, in my conviction, the market is totally underestimating that Tesla deserves a way higher multiple than it has today. So there shouldn't be any discussion that Tesla is a technology company. And if you still believe it's an outer company, you're totally on the wrong track here. So sorry to say it that clearly. So I hope this was helpful. Um, just wanted to give my thoughts about what I believe most people should talk about, but don't talk about. And they just dismiss that as, as I said, you know, pie in the sky, but it's a reality and we should take this really seriously. In particular, if you're a true investor and the true investors for me, someone who at least thinks about a three to five year investment horizon. Nobody knows what's happening short term. I mean, in particular, not after the, I think today we had a 10% plus day, but we've seen also 10% minus day. So what I'm trying to say here is stay grounded, but you know, never dismiss the opportunity that testers really make the things happen they invested already for years and years and years. And if there's one thing that we can trust on is Elon is late, but it, he always, always delivers. Thank you.